Hey guys, what's up? Kevin Francisco here from yugotech.com and today we'll be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy C9 Pro. Let's go! The Galaxy C9 Pro, like its Galaxy A9 Pro cousin, is a huge smartphone or a phablet as we like to call it. As with other Galaxy C handsets, the phone sports an aluminum unibody design. The 6-inch Super AMOLED display has its typical Samsung face with a front-mounted fingerprint scanner and a couple of capacitive keys for navigation. There's the selfie camera above the display and an earpiece which also acts as a second channel for its stereo speaker setup. On the left-hand side is a pair of buttons for volume up and volume down. The thin antenna bands originating from the rear also extend to the sides. Meanwhile, at its right are the power and lock button and two card trays. There's one for the dedicated micro SD card and another for two nano SIM cards. This will please those who don't want to sacrifice the second SIM card for a micro SD. Up top, we just have the pinhole for the noise cancelling microphone. On the other hand, it's quite busy down at the bottom with the 3.5mm headphone jack, USB Type C port, main microphone, and the loudspeaker sitting next to each other. Turning it on its back, we'll notice the clean slate of its aluminum chassis. The primary camera sits at the top with its dual tone LED flash by its side. What's interesting about the handset is the scheme of its antenna bands. Others put a thick strip of plastic to act as an antenna for the internal radios which could be unappealing for some. Here though, Samsung puts a trio of thin plastic strips and it looks neat compared to the likes of the iPhone 6. The handset's 6-inch Super AMOLED panel has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It delivers what you'd expect from an AMOLED display by Samsung, bright, vibrant, and pleasing to the eyes. Even at 6 inches, it still has a high pixel density at 367 ppi. It's also good to know that the always-on display feature is present as well. As for audio, the Galaxy C9 Pro is advertised to have stereo speakers. The setup is similar to the iPhone 7 wherein the earpiece acts as a second channel to aid the main loudspeaker at the bottom of the phone. Unfortunately, the experience is not as immersive as you'd expect. The quality of the sound firing from the earpiece is very tinny and the bottom speaker dominates it. The phone runs Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box. As to when it will get its Nugget 7.0 update is still unknown and somehow we're not expecting it. But at least fret not because Samsung's skin on top of Android is as feature packed as always. You already get the split screen feature found in Nugget with support for a few key apps. This allows you to work on two apps simultaneously and does take advantage of the generous RAM the phone has. Out of the 64GB total space, 11.32GB is occupied by the system, leaving about 52 gigabytes for personal files and apps. Both the front and rear cameras of the Galaxy C9 Pro are equipped with 16 megapixel sensors and f1.9 aperture. On paper, this is a quality setup, although stills are somehow underwhelming. The camera launcher is snappy, especially with the double press of the home button. The rear camera sports face detection autofocus for quick focusing. If there's a bright source of light, the image comes out pleasant and detailed, although in a low-light environment, it showed aggressive post-processing that resulted to a smudgy photo. The front-facing camera, on the other hand, is a capable selfie shooter but there's somewhat of a learning curve with getting the ideal distance for a sharp capture. Video recording is not that different. Quality is good in daylight but it can only do 1080 despite the processing and memory capacity this phone has. The phone is powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 653 octa-core processor with maximum clock speed of 1.95 GHz. It has the Adreno 510 GPU to handle the graphics department and memories fulfilled by the whopping 6 GB of RAM. It's not flagship Galaxy S specs but this phone has more memory than any Samsung phones to date. The mid-range chipset is more than enough for every task and intensive applications with heavy gaming on the side. Samsung's skin on top of Android doesn't slow things down, so there's nothing to worry about the performance of the phone. It'll be tough to consume the 6GB memory but it's always good to know that the phone has room to breathe in and it'll not choke anytime soon. Here are the benchmark test scores of the device. It has 4G LTE on board but it has no support for the priced 700 MHz band. We do get decent speeds around Manila but it will be better to have more supported telco frequencies. There's also dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, NFC with Samsung Pay which is not available here in the Philippines and a complete suite of GPS, GLONASS and BDS. 
This phablet has a 4000 mAh sealed battery cell. It supports fast charging and has an included fast charger. It is able to give us a full day of use with mobile data on and a mix of calls, text, browsing, and light gaming while stuck in traffic. We do get around 3-4 to four hours of screen time and with our traditional video loop test, it was able to last for about 20 hours. We find the Galaxy C9 Pro aimed for those who want a huge Android phone that's slim and performs well. The 6GB RAM is a novelty but it could come in handy when keeping your phone free from memory lag. The phone is not officially available in the country but you can avail it over at Widget City for 24500 in gold color. Once again, this has been Kevin Francisco and if you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more of these content. See you around and thanks for watching.